Hey everybody, this video is going to be a guide to Stitch's level 4 quest, Very Sleepy Stitch. To start this quest, you're going to need to have Remy unlocked, get Stitch to Friendship level 4, progress with Wally, and have the Glade of Trust. I do have guides on my channel for how to get Stitch on your valley and his level 2 quest if you need those. The hidden requirement for this quest is actually going to be at Wally's Garden, wherever you have that placed on your map if you've moved it, which is why it says you need to progress with Wally. When you head to Wally's Garden, you will see that Stitch has made a huge mess. If it doesn't look like this for you, you just need to restart your game after after hitting level 4 with him, and if you run around it, you'll see this little coffee cup. Pick it up and that's how you'll go ahead and start the quest. You will have to clean up this mess by yourself, by the way, whenever you feel like it. So then it just wants you to go ahead and hunt down Wally and talk to Wally, then you're gonna go ahead and give him the coffee cup, go through the dialogue, and then he's gonna send you to talk to Stitch. Stitch is gonna be sad, you're gonna decide that you need to make some coffee together, so then you're gonna go back to Wally with this item that Stitch will give you, which is a dried out coffee sapling. Yay, we're gonna make coffee! To plant the coffee trees, we're gonna need 25 pebbles, 25 clay, and one sack. I personally have these items mostly sitting in my storage, which I highly recommend keeping your storage stacked at all times. It makes questing so much easier. But you can get both clay and pebbles by just digging around the map. Clay is specifically in the Glade of Trust, Sunlit Plateau, and the Forgotten Lands, and pebbles drop, I think, in four different biomes, and you will actually get pebbles while you're digging in these biomes. Make sure you bring a digging frame with you so you're getting extra drops. If you only need pebbles, your highest drop rate chance is going to be in the Forest of Valor. The sack is going to be made from 15 fiber and 5 soil. You can craft the fiber out of seaweed. The easiest way to get seaweed is just by fishing outside of the circles on Dazzle Beach. And soil is again from digging. I have so much soil sitting in my chest, so hopefully you do too. Once you have all of those materials, it's going to send you to talk to Wally again, and then Wally is going to send you to craft the coffee sapling at a crafting station. Then it's going to have you plant the coffee sapling in the Glade of Trust. You can put it literally anywhere in the Glade. I just did right here because it was super close to my house. You're going to have to tend this sapling for about 30 to 40-ish minutes, meaning you're going to have to water it about every 10 minutes or so. I'm just estimating. So if your house is in the default zone or far away from the Glade, then I would just plant it super close, like literally right next to the well, so you're able to go back and forth very easily. My other tip is to make sure that you have the fruit and veggies toggled onto your map, so that way you can see when it dries out, and just keep checking your map as you're doing other stuff so that way you're getting it watered as quickly as possible. After you water it a few times it'll grow into this beautiful little bush and don't worry this will respawn and you'll permanently have coffee beans on your valley. Pick the coffee beans and then go and talk to Stitch and Stitch is gonna send you to talk to Remy about what to do with the coffee. If you pay attention to the dialogue, Remy will actually tell you all of the recipes currently available that you can make with coffee beans. But for the next part, you're just going to make Stitch some plain old coffee. So just go here and put one coffee bean in and that's all that you have to do and it makes coffee. Talk to Stitch one more time, it'll give him that coffee and then that actually completes quest level 4. Now that the quest is over, you can head back to your glade and find multiple coffee bean bushes that will permanently respawn coffee beans for you. While I have you here, the other two coffee recipes you can currently make are a mocha or a latte coffee beans and just milk is going to make you that latte coffee beans milk and a cocoa bean will make you the mocha and then remember plain coffee is literally just a coffee bean and that's it stitch's next quest will be at level 7 i hope this guide helped you out make sure to drop a like if it did and subscribe if you're new thank you so much for watching and i hope you have a really great rest of your day